What's going on everyone, my name is Boone, and today let's say theoretically I'm working on a project and I need to create a bunch of different title graphics. And for each of these title graphics, I wanna create a slightly different background. And let's say I have a really tight deadline for this, so I need to figure out how to knock out between 25 to 50 backgrounds quickly and efficiently using Adobe After Effects. Well today I wanna to show you a method using shape layers and a couple of animators that are gonna really allow you to do this quickly and efficiently and give you really good and dynamic results. Okay, we're inside of Adobe After Effects. The first thing I want to do is grab this shape tool over here. I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. Make sure my stroke is set to none. And I have my fill color set to red. That's perfectly fine. Now I'm going to go up here in the upper left hand corner. It doesn't really matter where you go. I'm going to draw a little rectangle. Now what I want to do is I want to duplicate this a bunch of times. So one way I can do that is to use animators. Now animators are located under this add menu just to the right of the content section. So if I go over here and hit the add button, you'll see there's a bunch of different options. I'm going to select repeater. Now that's going to repeat this rectangle. And if I open up the repeater settings, I can raise the number of copies. So let's do something like 25 copies. And that's good, I want those all the way horizontally across the screen. Now you have transformation properties for the repeater, so don't get those confused with the transform uh, properties of the particular shape layer. So what I wanna do now is open those up and I can move the position here and kind of spread these out. So let's say we want them, you know, something like that. Okay, now a cool thing that I can do is I can actually repeat the repeater. So I'm gonna go ahead, add another repeater going to repeat that row. Now let's open up the transformation properties of this repeater. And I'm going to bring, this is basically X and Y of the position. I'm going to bring the X to zero, and then I'm going to bring the Y down. And now we can see we have, because um, we have three copies, as I move the Y position, you can see how that's working. I don't want to bring these all the way vertically down the screen. I'm going to keep them maybe something like this. Now what I can do is I can start to kind of design this to give it a little bit, you know, make it a little more dynamic. So let's say I want some fall off. I can put a gradient on here by adjusting the opacity. I have start and end opacity. So I can bring the end opacity down. And now look at that. I have, you know, a little bit of, um, of a fall off here, which is looking very nice. Now I'm gonna close this. Let's repeat the repeater that we just repeated. Okay, now your mind is totally gonna be blown. And add an, a third repeater. I'm gonna go down, transform properties of this one. Let's just move the Y position down. And we can do the X positioning as well. Uh, let's see here. That can be fine. Now let's move the Y down here. Now what I can do is I can add fall off for all of these and I can go to the end opacity of this third repeater and that's gonna give me some fall off altogether. Now it's not looking, uh, you know, I want it to fall off as well uh, horizontally. So the way I can adjust that is to go back to the first repeater to the horizontal um, repeaters here and bring the end opacity of that down and now it'll fall off a little bit from left to right. Okay, now to tweak this, there are just so many options to tweak it. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna go back to the first repeater, open up the transformation properties, and I'm gonna bring the Y up. And let's, I'm gonna grab the entire shape layer and kinda of move it over here. Now let's go back to the third repeater, and we're gonna space these out a little more maybe, space them out like that and then bring up the copies. Let's bring up the copies to five. And, you know, this is kind of whatever you wanna do here. I'm gonna go up to the actual rectangle, open up the path, and here you can see I can mess with the size. I can bring the size of these down, and I can round them out a little bit. I can round this out, maybe 50. I can make it circular so they're not even rectangles anymore. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I'll go back down to the third repeater here. And you can see just in a short period of time, I've created, you know, pretty dynamic look here. And I can keep these as static and just have my foreground or my other motion graphics elements animating, or I can create subtle movement, which is what I think I'd like to do. Now, let's say that each one of these needs to be uh, five seconds in length. 
So I'm just going to edit the position here of repeater three, and let's just say you know it go though just the position shifts a little bit, so we just have a little bit of movement, something like that. I think I could even move the overall position of the shape layer, so let's move that as well, just a little bit. All right, so there we go, there's one background. Now the real power is I can bang out a large number of these by simply duplicating the sequence and tweaking one or two attributes. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna duplicate this background, open it up, and then I'm gonna open up the attributes. Let's open up the rectangle path, and let's basically round it out and change the size maybe, just a little bit, and then change the color. And there we go, we have a new background. I could even grab these and just quickly, you know, reverse these so that my animation's going in the other direction. And there we go. So this method of applying repeaters to shape layers can look good on a number of different things. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna duplicate this sequence and I'm gonna start back from scratch and just grab my pen tool. And I have the stroke set here. Let's change it to like a yellow and it's set to 15 with no fill, that's fine. Now I'm just gonna draw a line uh, kind of diagonally across screen here. And now let me show you something really simple actually. I could, uh, I can add a repeater to this and now I can just make a bunch of copies and offset them. And uh, theoretically, I mean, that's a background right there but I could just add a little bit of fall off. And there we go, there's a background right there. You don't even need to animate that. You could animate it if you want, just uh, slowly changing the position a little bit over time. Now I'm gonna duplicate this and show you another look. Let's, uh, let's delete that repeater. And let's add another repeater here and do the same thing that we did before. We have three copies, but this time let's add another animator. Let's add something like a, a zigzag. And uh, let's see what happens when, uh, yeah, maybe something like this. And then I'm gonna reposition the repeater here. We want something like that. Maybe bump up the width. Let's do maybe 30. And now we want to change the opacity here. It's really just a matter of, you know, constantly messing with all these attributes until you find something that you like. Okay, so I have the zigzag with this repeater. Now let's repeat the repeater again. And simply reposition this. And now we can do a bunch of copies and offset it. And once again, let's see here. Give that some fall off. Let's take a look at one other look that might be kind of cool. I'm gonna grab an ellipse here and we'll set the fill to, let's set it back to red. Turn the stroke off. Now I'm gonna create a circle, a smaller circle, actually. And let's go ahead and center that right in the middle. And now I'm gonna add a repeater. And I'm gonna set the transform properties of the repeater. Uh, the position, I'm gonna set it to zero. And now I wanna scale it up. Let's see what this looks like. Scale it up and then bring the end opacity down and look what happens, we get this really cool look. Now we can repeat this and look at that, that's kind of cool. Uh, it's not, it might not be that cool kind of centered like that so you could you could kind of bring it off to the corner here and uh, maybe add some, something like that. Very cool. And so that's another one. Let's duplicate this and let me show you one other thing. So now I can go up here, I can go to this ellipse, the path, and um, not the path, I'm sorry. I can add a zigzag to this. And now look at that, I can you know, change the color 
Uh, I'll make this one. Uh, let's do like an orange one. And with this zigzag attribute, I can, um, you know, make it go crazy. Oh, I can make a little sun thing. Ooh. And now with this, uh, with the repeater, I can uh, rotate it. And check that out. Very cool. And let's say it just rotates to six. And now it's rotating nice and slowly. Now I better stop here because I could really be creating these all day. Well, now you can see in just a, you know around 10 minutes, I've created these backgrounds and I could easily knock out a bunch more just by duplicating these, changing some attributes. Um, so it's really a cool and effective method. Now, if you want to download the project file, I've made it available. Just follow the link in the video description. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.